This is my island in the sun Where my people have toiled since time begun I may sail on many a sea Her shores will always be home to me My mother was born in the parish of St. Anne My father comes from St. Elizabeth But since my mother was the dominating force in the family. When, at the age of one a year old, uh, she decided to bring her children to Jamaica, because I was born in the United States, in Harlem, in New York. And she decided that the wilds of New York uh, was not the zone she wanted her children in. She wanted to have us in the wilds of Jamaica. So uh, she took us back to this island, and uh, I grew up in Abuka. And uh, for the first few years. And then I came down to Kingston and uh, spent the rest of my time living in Kingston. Uh, I always saw that the destiny of Jamaica was inextricably bound to the destiny of black Americans and vice versa. And uh, that fact alone kept me very connected. Jamaica made an impact on the world through Bob Marley and, and reggae. All of the world record holders in the Olympics have seemed to be Jamaicans. <laughs> I remember Hubert Humphrey uh, coming down to Jamaica. I, I think the Kennedys came down to Jamaica. It was just the place to go. Come with me down in Jamaica. Live your life in paradise and have some fun. I was from the South. And the Caribbean was the first place I'd ever been where black people were running anything. <laughs> it was a thrill to go to Jamaica and to see black policemen. We didn't have black policemen in Atlanta then. I used to come back regularly with Martin Luther King uh, because he liked Jamaica. In fact, most of his books were written in Jamaica. He would go to Jamaica just about every year. Jamaica's independence was extremely important to me. In New York City, my mother was a very strong Garveyite. She loved Marcus Garvey. We went to rallies in which Marcus Garvey spoke. When I came to Jamaica in that youthful period of my life, uh, Buster Manti was very busy giving the British a difficult uh, time uh, in, the, in, in their rule of the island. So I was always around uh, an environment that rebelled against its oppression. And that alone gave me linkage. Now when you talk about the culture and the music and the art, that was so indelible to my experience and it became so central to my own uh, cultural expression that uh, uh, there was just no question that uh, I was a Jamaica man and would wind up being that for the rest of my life. Stop, but I'm sad to in, say the, I'm in the history of the record business, uh, the first LP, to ever sell one million records within a year was the album entitled Calypso. And uh, the phenomena of that was so enormous that RCA, the company that I recorded for, gave me what was considered to be the first gold record in the history of the business and really set the, uh, the stages for what ultimately became the Grammy. And every time I look at these awards, I can say, well, that record that reflected the culture of that remarkable place called Jamaica was the forerunner of all of this, and I take, I take great pride in that. Well, in Montego Bay, Montego Bay I was last year on vacation 40 years ago. In fact, I was celebrating a big record I had then, uh, grazing in the grass. I had had a major tour, and somebody said, go to Montego Bay, you know, your chance. So I came out here. I never forgot it. There was just, there's just sort of a spiritual, ancestral uh, uh, um, ambience, you know, an environment here. Yeah. I can feel, I can feel, even when I first came, I could feel the past, you know, I could feel like the Africanness of it. And, it, it, and, and Jamaica is one of those countries where the African spirit lives forever, very intensely. I've been waiting for Jamaica to set some new trends for the 21st century. Well, I don't think uh, that life will ever be as full in its meaning to me if I have a life that is without a song. 
music is very, very central to my existence, to my passion, to my, to my joy. I also find it as, a, as an instrument of great communication. I mean, when you see 50,000 people in Germany singing Dale, and you look at 25,000 Japanese singing Dale, it tells you something about the power of the song, especially the songs that come out of Abuka. Dale!